Chapter 4 Breakthrough is Coming God is coming upon us with breakthrough in every area of our lives. Goodness is part of God's nature. That's why He heals. He gives good things to those who ask. A new season of breakthrough is upon us. Exodus 38, 18 and 19 And the hanging for the gate of the court was needlework of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen, and twenty cubits was the length, and the height in the breadth was five cubits, answerable to the hangings of the court. And their pillars were four, and their sockets of brass four, their hooks of silver, and the overlaying of their chapiters, and their fillets of silver. I asked the Lord once, What is your glory? He said, You cannot have my glory without my goodness. They are one and the same. If God gave you one drop of His goodness, what would you do with it? He said to Moses that He will make all His goodness pass before you. It is His kindness manifested in your life. We need a revelation of His goodness. Then He will proclaim His name by revelation. Judges 6, 1-10 And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Midian seven years. And the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel. And because of the Midianites, the children of Israel made them the dens which are in the mountains, and caves, and strongholds. And so it was, when Israel had sown, that the Midianites came up, and the Amalekites, and the children of the east, even they came up against them. And they encamped against them, and destroyed the increase of the earth till thou come unto Gaza, and left no sustenance for Israel, neither sheep, nor ox, nor ass. For they came up with their cattle and their tents, and they came as grasshoppers for multitude, for both they and their camels were without number, and they entered into the land to destroy it. And Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites, and the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, And it came to pass, when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord because of the Midianites, that the Lord sent a prophet unto the children of Israel, which said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I brought you up from Egypt, and brought you forth out of the house of bondage. And I delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians, and out of the hand of all that oppressed you, and drave them out from before you, and gave you their land. And I said unto you, I am the Lord your God. Fear not the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Overcoming Christians We are looking to become overcomers, but as we go through life, it seems we get further and further from a victorious life. We are about to see a rise of overcoming Christians. Isn't it true that though we are called to be overcomers, many times we make places to hide in our insecurities and the strongholds in our lives? When God looked for Saul, he was hiding amongst the baggage. I love the book of Judges because time after time, Israel cries out and God always brings his Moses or Samson or Gideon. God hears the cry of his people. The Midianites would steal Israel's harvest strife, contention, and quarreling. The enemy would leave no fruitfulness or breakthrough, and Israel was greatly impoverished. Many Christians are that way, yet called to be overcomers. There will be a day where the inhabitants of the land will say, I am not sick, a day of victory. I'm not talking about one or two people. I'm talking about breakthrough for the body of Christ. Judges 6, 11 through 14. And there came an angel of the Lord, and sat under an oak which was in Ophrah, that pertained unto Joash the Abizrite, and his son Gideon threshed wheat by the winepress, to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him, and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, O my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? And where be all his miracles, which our fathers told of us, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us, and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. And the Lord looked upon him, and said, Go in this thy night, 
and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have not I sent thee? The Sword of the Lord Have you ever asked, If the Lord loves me, why is all this happening? Gideon means valiant warrior, but it also means the man that cuts a tree. That is a prophetic picture of breakthrough. It is a warrior spirit. Deliverance comes by the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. His friend responded, Judges 7, 14 through 20, And his fellow answered and said, This is nothing else save the sword of Gideon the son of Joash, a man of Israel. For into his hand hath God delivered Midian and all the host. And it was so, when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof, that he worshipped and returned into the host of Israel, and said, Arise, for the Lord hath delivered into your hand the host of Midian. And he divided the three hundred men into three companies, and he put a trumpet in every man's hand, with empty pitchers and lamps within the pitchers. And he said unto them, Look on me, and do likewise. And behold, when I come to the outside of the camp, it shall be that, as I do, so shall ye do. When I blow with a trumpet, I, and all that are with me, then blow ye the trumpets also on every side of all the camp, and say, The sword of the Lord, and of Gideon. So Gideon, and the hundred men that were with him, came unto the outside of the camp, in the beginning of the middle watch, and they had but newly set the watch, and they blew the trumpets, and brake the pitchers that were in their hands. And the three companies blew the trumpets, and brake the pitchers, and held the lamps in their left hands, and the trumpets in their right hands to blow withal. And they cried, The sword of the Lord, and of Gideon. Second Samuel 5, 17-20 but when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines came up to seek David, and David heard of it, and went down to the hold. The Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Wilt thou deliver them into mine hand? And the Lord said unto David, Go up, for I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thine hand. And David came up to baal Perizim, and David smote them there, and said, The Lord hath broken forth upon mine enemies before me, as the breach of waters. Therefore he called the name of that place baal Perizim. After any kind of graduation or promotion, the enemy comes to challenge. It is important to record the breakthrough, the testimony. Write it down. When you remember all the things God has done for you, that faith accelerates your breakthrough. Write your dreams down, everything the Lord gives you. When the battle is raging, we often go into panic mode, and our emotions rage. David took off his armor and went to the secret place. The key to breakthrough, regardless of what's going on, stop and inquire of the Lord. That is very common in all of David's battles. He strategized. He left the front lines and said, Lord, what do you want me to do? There is a place called Breakthrough, and the Lord can take you there. Advance quickly. There is a window. The Lord brings breakthrough like a breach in a wall. Breakthrough means to burst out, break down, so that you can break open, break out of where you are, to advance in the kingdom all the way through, increase to scatter. Now, press in and go after it.